So, in a way, I'm done. Diaz, take it away. All right, so I'll put it like this here. Um, first of all, they're both under age 30. So we're dealing with uh, maturity issues uh, anyway. He was he was 32. She was 30. Oh, okay. Still, but they still sound like some maturity issues. But anyway, um, I put it like this, man. Uh, people, especially this guy, sounds like he has his issue. But I find this very common on both sides. So I, I'm not the kind who sits there and puts a, um, a cape on every woman and says that she's a hero. You should laud her and she's wonderful and you just need to learn how to do better, man. Um, there's two sides to everything. So first thing I would say is much of what you guys said. Right? She is going nonstop all day and day. And the way he even told the story in the beginning, which kind of like put me off, was he's like, and we take turns um caring for the children bro there's no such thing as taking turns taking care of your kids like you're present kids need something you address it you don't say hey i got monday you got tuesday like we don't like how you how you do that you know what i'm saying like and then it's like he hasn't gotten to the maturity level of realizing there's more plays than himself like he is intellectually or mentally aware of the things that might be affecting her, but he's not processing it personally, right? He's not taking it in to say this is what affects her. He just says these are the things she deals with. Two different things, right? <laughs> so I, I take it like that with him. Um, the sister thing, and I don't really care too much about that one. But what I would say to kind of bring it to the way I view things, and I know nobody views things like an you know Android uh, version 5.0 theus, but everybody is living their life. It, it you can take the fantasy of well we're married so we are one and all that bull and throw that out the window. You are living your life, she's living her life, kids are living their lives. Each individually, none of y'all are living the same life. And what oftentimes happens between the husband and the wife, and this is, I don't know, this is not for everybody, but this is, I'm talking to a lot of dudes and my own personal experience in two marriages. Our interests or our focus is different. So when it was before the kids, you had a certain dynamic to your relationship. She was into you, you were into her, and that was just what it was, right? But then the kids come in, and now you're into her, but you're also into the kids. But she's even more into the kids, one, because this is kind of how the emotional thing moves and the, and the chemistry of being a mother moves with most women. Some women, you know, this is biology, so you can't say 100%. But they get taxed a lot more on that. So their focus, especially when they're little ones, is all in on the kids. And you can look at the animal kingdom and you see it all day long. Everything shifts. It's all about the kids. They get no sleep. They get no rest, which are two different things. They're not focused on their own appearance. They're not focused on their own diet. They're not focused on much of anything. Everything is second. To those little creatures running around. You, on the other hand, my guy, yes, if you're like me, you love your children so much you would burn the world down for them. But it's a different thing. You're in a protector mode, you're not in a nurture mode. So you go and live your whole life. You get up in the morning, you take your shower, you get dressed, you're out the door, you work for eight, nine, ten hours, you come back home, and you go back into being husband dad mode. You had the experience of a completely outside, unrelated life for an extended period of time. You come back home, she has been living the same eight to 10 hours, but she's been doing it in full go mode. Full. Even if the kids take a nap, she's probably not napping. So she, there's like a time lag that happens. 
You can't wait to get home so you can stop talking to people. She can't wait for you to get home so she can finally talk to somebody. And if, which is what I suspect, because you seem to be all into yourself, in the beginning, you were not giving back to her what she was needing because of you view life different, you view time different. So she stops asking for it. So now she pulls even further into herself because she ain't got nothing else to do. Right? And you you interpret that as, well, she's not taking care of my emotional needs. Are you taking care of her emotional needs? 